Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Hi, and welcome to my lesson on editing stroke styles. I thought I'd just go through some of the options you can get um, to make your strokes look a bit more interesting. If I draw a stroke with a pencil tool, like so, you can see that that's a pretty solid line there. And it's relatively thin. So if I double click on that and pull up my properties, you can see I get a whole load of options down here. So where it says stroke, like so, that's how I control the stroke size. So if I pull this all the way up, I get a really thick stroke. If I pull it all the way down, I get a really thin one. So let's leave it relatively thin and then explore the styles down here, you can, say it's, you can see it's a solid at the moment. If I change it from solid to dotted, you can see we get a dotted line. Zoom in on that. Uh, there you go. And as well as dotted lines, we can have dashed, stippled, so it's a kind of paintbrush effect, ragged. Um, and even if you've got it on something like dotted, it'll still work in exactly the same way. So you can pull it out and edit it and add corners in the way that I showed you in my lesson on editing strokes and fills. And equally, if you double click on it, you can make it bigger and smaller. So you can maybe even do an animation of that. I mean, that looks quite strange. And you can edit the color either up here or here. Change the colour of your stroke. So give it a go and make your strokes look a little bit more interesting. I'll see you next time. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.